Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the basics of Adobe Illustrator in three minutes. Adobe Illustrator is used for creating vector graphics. A vector graphic can be scaled to any size without a loss in quality. You can create a new document by going to File, New, and selecting a document size from the available presets, or by entering a custom size. The RGB color mode is suitable when designing for screens and CMYK is suitable when designing for print. The toolbar on the left contains a wide variety of tools that can be used to draw, edit and modify shapes in a variety of different ways and you can have a lot of fun experimenting with these. You can select colors from the color picker at the bottom of the toolbar. The square with the block of color is the fill color and the outline, referred to as the stroke, can also be selected and changed. The panels on the right side of the screen are useful to edit the properties of shapes created in Illustrator and can be accessed from the window menu at the top of the screen. These panels can be turned on or off and freely dragged around to fully customize your workspace. Custom workspaces can also be saved and switched between quickly from the top of the screen. The main selection tool can be used to select and move objects around. The direct selection tool can be used to select individual anchor points on shapes and edit with more precision than the main selection tool. The pen tool can be used to draw custom shapes and you can left click or double click on certain tools to access more options. The text tools can be used to create horizontal or vertical text and the brush tools can be used to simulate true to life brush effects. Go to Window and select the Brushes panel to select or add specific brushes that you want to use. The Eraser tool can be used to freely remove parts of an object. And the Rotate and Scale tools can be used to rotate the angle of shapes and increase or decrease their size. The Artboard tool can be used to create additional artboards all within the same Illustrator document. Saved color swatches and stroke properties can be selected and edited from the respective panels on the right hand side of the screen. You can click on the gradient slider in the gradient panel to combine multiple colors together as a fill or stroke within a single shape. The colors on the gradient can be edited by double clicking on the individual swatches on the gradient slider. And swatches can be removed simply by dragging them off of the gradient slider. Multiple shapes can be combined together in a variety of ways from the Pathfinder panel on the right and this panel can be enabled from the window menu at the top of the screen. With text selected, you can edit the text properties, fonts and alignment from the top of the screen. Panels for these options can also be enabled to display on the right hand side. Your creations in Illustrator can be saved and exported in a variety of formats from the file menu in the top left corner. And there we go, those are the basics of Adobe Illustrator in three minutes. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.